What is up guys, I hope everyone is doing well. So if you have been following the channel for some time, you will know that the Huawei MateBook X Pro is the laptop that I use as my daily driver. So thankfully, thanks to Huawei, they have sent me out the emerald green version so I can update my 2019 to a 2020 version. So that is pretty awesome. So massive thanks to Huawei for that. So let's go ahead and take this out of the box and have a quick look. So Huawei do have some nice packaging and it's nice to see considering you will be paying £1,700 here in the UK just for this colour. In the box, other than the laptop of course, you are going to find your 65 watt supercharger, a USB-C to USB-C cable, some documentation and last of all you are going to find this adapter that will give you a full size HDMI, VGA, USB-C and USB-A. So you're pretty much covered straight out of the box if you want to go ahead and hook this up to your monitor setup in your office etc. So that's pretty awesome that it's not something you have to pay extra for. So let's go ahead and take a look at the start of the show. So obviously not much has changed when it comes to the looks but honestly I'm definitely not bothered about that as in my opinion this is one of the best looking Windows laptops out there and in this new emerald green colour it definitely looks better. So let me know what colour you prefer down below. I am definitely digging that little pop of colour, it definitely sets this off. So since I have already went over the 2020 MateBook X Pro in the video that you will find up here somewhere, then so go ahead and watch that if you want to find out everything. I thought in this video I would tell you all of the things that I love about the MateBook X Pro 2020 and some of the things that I don't, so let's dive into it. So for me, the best part of the MateBook X Pro definitely has to be that 3K full view display. The 3 by 2 aspect ratio gives me plenty of room to do all my daily tasks with ease. It's super sharp, it's vibrant, so taking breaks to watch some YouTube or Netflix is absolutely awesome. And it's also touchscreen, so you can go ahead and use that if you desire. I'm in love with those minimal bezels. What it does is give you a super immersive feel that makes tasks like photo editing etc an absolute pleasure. If you haven't seen this screen up close, I definitely suggest trying to go ahead and check it out. You will not be disappointed. So speaking of YouTube and Netflix, if you're not going to go ahead and use that headphone jack, then you will be super impressed with the quad speakers on this. They get as loud as you will ever need and the quality is seriously on point. I don't think I have ever used another laptop with speakers this good. So if you travel on the daily for work, for education or for whatever, basically everyone knows how annoying it is to humph a big heavy laptop around. Well at just under 1.5 kilograms and 15.9 millimeters thick, this really is the perfect laptop for throwing in your bag and going. Obviously another bonus is that you won't have a massive power brick to carry around either. You just have to plug with the USB-C cable, so it's definitely easy to throw in your bag and take to work or school etc. Okay, so no one wants an ugly looking laptop, let's face it, and the build quality is seriously on point. You won't find any flex on this keyboard deck. We have lovely diamond cut edges and overall, if you want a premium looking laptop, you definitely can't go wrong here. As I've mentioned at the start of this video, this is one good looking bit of kit. Let me know your thoughts on the looks down below. As someone who spends a lot of time typing, I can say that the keyboard on the MateBook X Pro, although a little shallow for my liking, is definitely nice to type on. The keys are well spaced out and also backlit, so if like me and you use your keyboard a lot, then I think you will go on absolutely fine here. So as I mentioned earlier, this is the 2020 version, so it has been given that Intel 10th gen treatment with the i7 10510U on board, but this has also been paired with 16 gigabytes of RAM and an Nvidia MX250, making light gaming very possible on this machine, which as a self-confessed gaming addict, I must say, I absolutely love it. Obviously, it's not going to play those AAA titles you can forget, Call of Duty and all of that stuff, but if you fancy some light gaming while you're at work, at school, obviously, on a break, let's game responsibly people, then it's definitely not too far out of reach. So speaking of the MX250, that leads me to something that I don't like. Nvidia have released the MX350 and for some reason Huawei decided just to stick with the MX250 which we did have 
in the 2019 version. Not that the MX250 is bad, it just would have been nice to get that upgrade, but obviously I don't know the reasons behind that. It could be battery life, power consumption, whatever, I really don't know. Maybe they wanted to keep the cost down, but it would have been nice to see the latest tech and the latest variant. I'm also not a massive fan of the lack of upgradability as the RAM is soldered to the board and while 16GB is sufficient it's always nice to have the opportunity to go ahead and maybe add some more or add faster RAM etc in the future. The fact that you can't do that is a little annoying and also although the M.2 can be swapped out you would have to remove a massive portion of the laptop to get at it and including the heat pipes etc so that is definitely not a great option but with one terabyte of storage on board on the emerald green version then i certainly won't be running out anytime soon okay so let's finish this off with another positive and that is of course the battery life i can get through a full day without any issues at all but that is of course without doing any seriously long sessions of gaming. If you plan on gaming for a long time, obviously it will drain the battery super quick. But obviously we have that fast charger in the box as well, so topping up is certainly no issue. But if you don't have that opportunity during the day, then I'm pretty sure the battery will last you without any trouble. Overall, I absolutely love the 2020 MateBook X Pro. Is it worth upgrading from the 2019? In all honesty, I would have to say no. The 2019 is still an awesome laptop, but if you're on the market for a new laptop as of now, then I would definitely consider this, especially in that emerald green. I know I have said it a hundred times, but as soon as I seen it, this was something that I just had to get. So that pretty much rounds it up, guys. If you have any questions that you want to know about the X Pro, just let me know down below. I always get back to everyone as quick as I can. So as always, stay safe, be kind to each other, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.